if I'm going to talk about planets, I also have to talk about the so-called Earth, which is considered a planet. But if you look here, <clears throat> you have stars in the background. So this one has stars, it appears. But then you have this moon here, which in size and relation, it would actually be, first of all, much further away, and it would be much larger, and it wouldn't be illuminated like this. So there's many discrepancies with this moon. Not to mention this cloud formation, you'll see this pattern a lot. So basically this moon is a composite. All, all planets and all moons are composites. Okay, very... There is only one photo of Earth, and that was in 1972, when the last space mission from uh, a full photo of Earth I'm talking about, uh, from on the moon landings, okay? Now, that's the only one, but since we concluded that the moon landings are not real, then we have no pictures of Earth. None. All right? So... <clears throat> When we're looking at this thing, we're not actually looking at a real photo, okay? And there's light all over. It's <laughs> They never catch the sun in these pictures. It's not real. You don't see any satellites. It, there's nothing real about this, all right? So, you know, we'll kind of move past that. But that's just the one thing you guys got to realize is that um, there, there, there are no photos of Earth, period, none. So when you tell people the Earth is flat, they think there's pictures. There's none. And NASA tells you. They're all composites. All right? So now let's look here. This is how NASA made composite images before Photoshop existed. Okay? So here they're talking about how they've taken photos and they've compiled it together. This is what they call a composite. This is what they do to the Earth. They do to the planets. And they do to galaxies, because galaxies don't exist, okay? So they compile these images to make a, a photo. Now, sometimes they'll say we have an actual photo, but then they'll say we used infrared lensing, okay? So they'll use all kind of trick terms, but at the end of the day, the, none of the photos are actually authentic because they claim they can't take any true, regular, normal snapshots of the Earth. There's always got to be some sort of uh, tampering with the photo, okay? So let's go down. The guy who created the iPhone's Earth image explains why he needed to fake it. Well, we know all of these are fake, so, I mean, come on. You, they, they give you one little, one little gem and tell you, oh, yeah, we faked this one, but the other one's real. No, they're all fake. Okay, you can clearly see that. And you'll notice this Earth everywhere. So there are no photos of Earth, period. Now, here's interesting. Here's a picture of Jupiter. This is from three separate images, okay, three separate periods. But they're always at the same angle. Now, if someone's in the North Pole and then someone's in the South Pole on the bottom side of the globe, they would see Jupiter upside down. Now, if you're going to tell me this was taken but with a satellite, even a satellite would move in all different directions. It wouldn't take the same angle over and over again. This one has a moon in front of it, same angle. This one doesn't. This one's a little lighter, just about the same same angle, nothing. So again, I mean, you want to talk about major bullshit. This, this is it right here, okay? Yeah, you might be able to see something through your telescope, but you're not seeing this, okay, in high detail like this. You're not. Not with any amateur telescope, period. All right? And even with the high, the, the observatories, they're getting, the GPS ones, they're getting fed this bullshit. Okay? They're getting fed this bullshit through some sort of uh, GPS feed or something like that. Okay? They, they, they have some system going. All right? Here we go. This is one. This is Europa, one of Jupiter's moons. Again, same angle. Only difference is they colored this one. It's the same damn photo. All they, all they did was darken this one, and then they put a little bit of a shading right around this edge where the pointer is on it. But it's the same damn thing. So they didn't change anything. They're not even trying that hard. They're just putting out photos. This is what I'm telling you. It's all bullshit. Okay? It's all bullshit. So... 
here goes Saturn. Now, this is supposedly a actual photo from a satellite. This is off NASA's website. <laughs> and if you look, the sun is on the opposite side because you kind of see the glare poking out right here. So the, the sun is on the opposite side of Saturn, but somehow this part is still illuminated. Explain that. Explain that. Because what is the light reflecting off of? Sure, it looks pretty, but it's not real. And they're telling you it's real, and you believe it. Because your ego won't allow you to, to, to say, look, it's all fake. Your ego won't allow you to know the truth. And what you're teaching, and this is the reason why there's so many problems on the planet, is because people are not dealing with reality, okay? So, yeah, you might be seeing Saturn, some form of Saturn, but you're not seeing Saturn like this, okay? They're not big, huge, million, million miles away gaseous planets. They're not, okay? They're not solid. They're not made of ice. They're miniature moons, okay? Celestial moons. That's what they are. That's the new term. That's a new scientific term. But look at this. This is all off. Look at that. <laughs> the ring starts in the middle of the planet. This is not even in the ring. The ring is in front of the Saturn. <sighs> all right, guys. You know, just go out and purchase the book and uh, subscribe and uh, like and share. Um, you know, I hope you guys are doing great out there. And you know, we're trying to bring truth to you. So, all right, guys. Peace.